Hello guys, welcome to Math City with Miss G. Today we are going to talk about solving rational equations. Let's take a look at this example for number one. Okay, so let us focus on the right hand side of the equation. The denominator of the right hand side equation has the same denominators and because they're the same, we can go straight ahead with combining like terms. So make the denominators, write the common denominator, and combine like terms. So we'll drop the numerator, x squared plus 4x, and you might be asking what happened to the numerator 1 plus, right, we're going to combine these two together and that will give us negative 4. We didn't do anything on the left-hand side, so we're going to drop 7 over 4x. Okay, so our goal is to isolate x, and so that is what we are going to be working on. So we're going to cross multiply, or butterfly method. So we'll have 7 times 16x equals, also multiply this two together, so 4x times x squared plus 4x minus 4. Now let's focus our attention in this expression that we have. Okay, so I'm looking at um, this side of the equation and it's 4x. I'm also looking at this side of the equation and that's 16x. Um, it is possible that we can or we will eliminate 4x at this time. So I could divide 4x and 4x on both sides. Why? Because each of these expressions is separated by parentheses, meaning multiplication. So I could cancel this and that would give me a one. Um, so 16 divided by four is four. And oh, it, we can also cancel the x as well. And so let's multiply seven times four, that's 28 equals x squared plus 4x minus 4. Our goal is to isolate x, and so we are going to subtract 28 on both sides. So this will make the equation equal to 0. And so that's negative 32. Okay, so um, we, are, we have trinomial. So we have 1, 2, 3, a trinomial. So we are going to factor the polynomial, so CB using a table. So our A value is 1 coefficient, our B is 4, and our C is negative 32. So C is negative 32, B is 4. Um, factors of negative 32 are, they're multiple. But we are looking for positive 8 times times negative 4. Why? Because when we add 8 plus negative 4, that is equal to positive 4, which is the B value. And so let's set up our um, uh, polynomial. So we have x plus 8 and x minus 4. So this is our factored form. We want to isolate x by itself, so remember, we'll do x plus 8 equals 0, and x minus 4 equals 0, isolating x. Okay, we subtract 8 on both sides, so that would be x equals negative 8. Add 4 to both sides, and so x is equal to positive 4. So sometimes you will see um, your answer in this form, say for example, in, um, if it's a test such as uh, AC, uh, ACT, SAT, you probably will see it as a set form, so it would be negative 8 and 4. But again, I just need you to familiarize that these two sets of answers are about the same, just in case you won't see these and you only see this one. Okay, let us try and work on another problem. 
this time. The left hand side of the equation, um, the denominators on the left hand side of the equation are not the same. So we would like to make the denominators be the same. So what do we do? I want to make a V's right here be equal to 2n. And how do I do that? So I need to multiply something to n that will equal to 2n. And that should be um, positive 2. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by 2 to make it 2n. But I need to multiply that 2 in the numerator as well. So we're multiplying a 1, but it is in a form of 2 over 2. So this will make the denominator, common denominator, which is 2n. We're going to distribute the 2, so that would be 2n, and then negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. And don't forget, this is a minus 1. We drop it down. Then the left hand, I mean the right side of the equation, we did nothing to it. We're going to drop it down as well. We're going to combine like terms. So these two right here makes these two makes negative 11. So that would be 2n minus 11 over 2n equals 1 half. Okay. So we're going to cross multiply. So 2, 2n times 1 is 2n equals. Also multiply these two together. So that would be 2 quantity 2n minus 11. Okay, so um, it, let's focus our attention on this side of the work. Okay, so you either can distribute the 2 into 2n and 11. You can do that. Or you could also do or get rid of the 2. Okay, because it is possible that I can divide it by 2, both sides. So if I do this, I would if I go on this route, I can cancel that and cancel this, and I am left with n on the left side, and then a 2n on the, 2n minus 11 on the right. Isolating n, I would do minus 2n on both sides. So this will be negative n equals negative 11, and we can't have a variable that's negative. So we're dividing both sides by negative 1. And so n is equal to 11. So the solution is 11, negative 11. Oh, oops, corrections. That should be a positive 11. Okay, because negative times negative is positive. All right. Let us try another problem. Let's try this problem right here. Okay. It's similar to that of the of number two problem. This time, um, on the left side of the equation, we want to make it into a common, to have a common denominator. So I want to make the denominators 3p, and so that would be multiplied, the numerator and the denominator with 3 to make the denominator equal to 3p. And so if we are going to multiply this to 3 times 3, that would be 9. And so we are going to drop 1 plus the answer that we just got, which is 9. And so 9 plus, um, 9 plus 10, 1 is equal to 10. So we're, we, it's OK to write just 10 right there to save space. Okay, so we did nothing to the right-hand side. We'll drop it down. 5p minus 15 over 3p squared. Let's cross multiply. This would be 10 times 3p squared equals 3p times 5p minus 15. Okay, so let's focus our attention on this side of the work. Okay, so I have here 3p, and I also have 3p squared right here. So it is possible to cancel the 3p. So that would leave me with a 1. So my right side of the equation will just be 5p minus 15. The left side would be cancel the 3p 
squared divided by p will be left with a p. So on the left side, we, are, we do have 10p. Okay, isolating p, we are going to subtract 5p on both sides. So that would be 5p equals negative 15. Divide both sides by 5. That will give us p is equal to negative 3. So the solution is negative 3. Okay, let's try one more problem, and that problem would be this problem right here. How about if we see something like this? Okay, so we want to make the, um, the denominators the same. So I'm focusing my attention to 1. So how can I write 1 as a fraction? Okay, so that would be 1 over 1. So 1 over 1 is equal to 1. So I'm just going to erase that and think that that 1 is going to be 1 over 1. I want to make the denominators the same. So I am going to multiply 1 over 1 with W. Okay. So I'm going to multiply that with W and the numerator as well. So that will leave with denominator, which is W, numerator, which is W minus 1. We're going to drop the left-hand side, which is W squared minus 4W minus 5 over W squared. Let's cross-multiply. So that would be W squared times W minus 1 equals W quantity W squared minus 4W minus 5. Now. Notice that we have W's on both sides, so it is possible or it is okay to get rid of this W and this W right here. And so getting rid of that will leave us with W squared minus 4W minus 5 on the right-hand side. Now, what, about, what happened to the left-hand side? So we could cross out these and we are left with 1 W, drop the W minus 1. Now, we're going to distribute the W, so W squared minus W equals, drop W squared minus 4W minus 5. Okay, again, we want to isolate the variable by itself, and I see minus W, there's an operation, so um, I'm going to subtract W squared, combine like terms, and this is a minus W, so opposite or inverse of neg minus W is plus W. I'll do the same thing on the right-hand side. You don't have to do it this way. I'm like trying to save space. Okay, so we are trying to make the equation equal to zero. So this goes away. And negative W plus W is zero. So the left-hand side of the equation is zero, and that's the reason why we subtract the W on the left side, W squared, and we add a W on, the, uh, on both sides, actually. So this will eliminate these. And we are left with negative 3W minus 5. And isolating W, we can either add W on both sides or add 3W on both sides. It's up to you. I want to do plus 3W on both sides. And then 3W equals negative 5. Divide both sides by 3. And that would leave us with W equals 5 over 3, which is our solution. All right. If you find value in this video, please subscribe and share. Um, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. That is it for today. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.